So just a brief overview of exactly what we have here. Um, this is the Jacob's Ladder prototype that we're working on for you guys. And what we have is two 15,000 volt, 30 milliamp neon sign transformers. There is a hope of getting a couple more. Um, everything's sort of jury rigged together right now because I, I wasn't wasting my uh, really expensive GTO wire on them. High voltage cable essentially. Um, what we've got here at the base, you can see the electrodes and uh, the middle electrode there is called a Gabriel electrode. Basically how that works is we've got a couple of uh, mega ohm resistors. So there's three mega ohm resistors connecting the, the that electrode to the middle electrode. And essentially what happens is that when there's no arc, um, this little teeny tiny gap right here seems really favorable to these electrodes here, the two big electrodes. So when an arc starts, it's almost guaranteed to form in that little tiny space. And once it gets going, there's a current flowing and a voltage is dropped across the resistors, making this electrode more favorable than the middle electrode because the voltage is lost. So the arc starts here, the ions carry the arc up and then in between these two big electrodes and it keeps going. So it makes it really easy to form an arc and get it repeatable and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, this all this wiring will be underneath the piece of acrylic, which, as you can see, there's a square there, so that's going to be cut, and there'll be four holes in the corners or more. And essentially, you'll just be able to mount it right up against the bottom of whatever display case we end up getting for it. Now, some interesting things to note about the, uh, the arc as it goes up. So sometimes it goes, seems to go crazy, other times it's a nice steady stream. Um, that's actually due to air currents. Once we put this thing inside a tube, all the air currents from like me breathing and moving around and stuff will be eliminated and you'll just get a nice arc that goes all the way up. The other thing is that sometimes it makes it all the way up and sometimes it doesn't. This too is largely due to air currents and the fact that there's actually a force being exhibited between these two rails and you can see them sort of moving there. That sort of disrupts the arc a little bit. Once again, once we mount it in a tube, there'll actually be insulators at the top holding it steadily in place so that it doesn't vibrate like that. So yeah. That is our Jacob's Ladder.